Hey everybody, thought I'd post a quick tutorial on creating glowing effects for your world, something I just found out how to do uh, a couple days ago and I think it was pretty cool. So um, if you ever enter in a world and you kind of see this uh, sort of neon lighting and wondering how people can do that, um, we're gonna use something called post-processing to create these glow effects for your world. All right, so I just have a couple like neon bars set up on my map. Um, they're using a material, it's just like a pink uh, pink material. I didn't like uh, do anything crazy to it. Um, yeah, it's just flat and kind of purplish. Um, so the very first thing that you wanna do is um, we're gonna need to import something called post-processing. And post-processing is gonna let us kind of create this uh, uh, glow effect. So go up to window at the top and then go to package manager. And then in Package Manager, search for something called Post Processing, it should pop up. I already have it installed, so it's asking me to update, but um, you should see an install button. So after you install that package, uh, escape out of this, um, go to your main scene camera um, that's in the scene. You're gonna add a component called a Post Process Layer. And this layer is basically going to set up um, this sort of glow effect um, in our scene. So. Um, make sure that uh, you click this to make sure that the main camera is added in this field. Um, second thing, it's complaining that a layer is not set. Um, so in VR chat, um, we have a few layers and for post-processing effects, um, I recommend using the water layer um, because there's really, you know, there's not, nothing really gets rendered on this layer. So um, click water and, and basically this saying every kind of object on this layer is going to be affected by this uh, kind of visual effect. So we're going to select water. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to go to our kind of neon lights that we set up. I have just a hierarchy of uh, objects. So I'm going to click on sort of the main uh, parent object that I have here, which contains all of my uh, objects that I want to make glow. I'm going to click add component and I'm going to create something called a post process volume. Um, once post processing volume is here, we can click this little check mark that says global. So this is just gonna be, make it make it apply to everything in our scene. Um, next thing that we wanna do is we want to create a, this new profile. So just click this new profile button. And we have our little neon profile that it creates and um, we're gonna wanna add an effect here. So click add effect and we're gonna click unity and we're gonna select bloom. So bloom is gonna kinda give us that uh, effect that's going to make like the object sort of glow. So click bloom. But um, if you notice, if you mess around with these, uh, the threshold and intensity, nothing really happens. So why is that? Um, that's because the layer needs to be uh, set to water. If you remember in our main scene camera, when we added post-processing, we set it to use a water layer. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of these neon kind of cubes that I made. We're going to set them all to the water layer and we should see them uh, apply the glow effect. So like, yes, change children. And let's just mess with the, the threshold here and the intensity. So you can see we sort of get like a um, kind of a glowing effect. Um, but as you notice, like there's a problem here, right? Because the entire map is glowing. Um, we don't want that. We just want a specific object to glow. So how do we do that? Um, if you remember the neon texture that we made, if we go back to our cube um, and go down to neon here with this uh, custom material that we set up, um, we're going to set the emission. There's an emission checkbox here. You're going to go ahead and check that. And what emission is going to do is it's going to add like a little bit more light um, to these objects. So uh, when the bloom filter is applied to the scene, um, these objects will emit more light. And they um, and if the bloom filter is at a certain intensity, um, it will only show these sort of neon, this neon lighting in our map. So um, I'll just show you my settings for the emission colors that I set up. Um, I have, you can, you can increase the light intensity. You can see it gets darker and brighter. Um, so I'm going to go exit out of this and we're going to make sure, uh, we have our little, uh, emission setting set up and we're going to go back to, um, we're going to go back to neon and we're going to go mess with this kind of threshold and intensity, uh, filter again. So we're going to go turn the intensity up. And as you can see, we're sitting getting a glow effect, which is what we want. And it's not, you know, it's not glowing uh, the rest of our map. So I'm going to go in, you know, in turn, turn this intensity up, turn the threshold down and we can create like super bright, super bright lights. Um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and test this out to see if it works in VR chat. So let's go ahead and launch the game client. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Let's jump into our client here.
So you can, as you can see, objects are now glowing. We have neon lighting. Um, there's one thing that usually uh, um, is a problem when you're messing with the bloom filter is that you can see that my character is kind of uh, also uh, kind of picking up the bloom effect as well. So if I go to my settings menu, you can see how my avatar is kind of shiny and you know, you don't want that. You, you know those worlds that you go to and like everything is blurry. Um, you just want a specific object that's glowing. So um, what we can do is we can go back to uh, back to Unity. Uh, so let's get out of our client here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to our neon lights again. And uh, let's just go select uh, the neon material again. Go back to the emission and just lower the intensity of the actually increase the intensity and then go back to where we set up the bloom intensity here. And what we're going to do is we're going to lower the uh, intensity of this filter that we have here. And what this is going to do is uh, we're just making our lights emit more light. So other objects in the scene are not going to sort of pick up that bloom effect. So we're not going to be, you know, we're not going to look all shiny and stuff like that. It'll just be these neon lights. Um, if you're having a problem with that, um, again, go to the emissions, increase the intensity on the emission uh, material, and then kind of lower the intensity here in the bloom filter, and that should fix it. And that's all there is to it. And you can pretty much create like glowing things now and yeah, go after it and, and get world building, make some cool stuff.